So today I'm going to be going over the 3M EVM7, which is an indoor air quality monitor. And this particular monitor is able to take quite a few measurements simultaneously. Uh, the models that Reiko Rents carries include sensors for carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, volatile organic compounds, temperature, and relative humidity. These can be run simultaneously to get the most out of your indoor air quality study. All right, so the first thing we're going to do with the EVM7 is go through the setup. So if you haven't already, go ahead and press the power button to turn it on. And so the first thing we'll do is press the enter button to go to the setup menu. And the first thing we'll set up is our data logging. So we want to make sure to set up the logging interval. You can press the enter button with logging interval highlighted and then use the arrow buttons to adjust your logging interval. The averaging, which is uh, how often data is refreshed on the display, should be equal or less than your logging interval to make sure it's always logging something different. And then you want to make sure that you have your level, minimum, maximum, average, and short-term exposure turned on if you choose to log those. And then you can look and see how much of uh, how much runtime you can get from your total data log. So then we'll back out of the data logging setup and we want to make sure that the time and date is set up correctly so that our data logs have the correct timestamp on them. So you can adjust the time by pressing the enter button and again using the arrow buttons to adjust the time. Then you can go down to date and do the same there as well. The day of the week at the bottom should change on its own. So once you finish setting up your date and time, we want to make sure that it's displaying the correct units for our study. You can switch between Celsius and Fahrenheit by pressing the enter button and using the arrow keys to adjust that. The particulate sensor can display either milligrams per cubic meter or micrograms per cubic meter. And the PID sensor can display either parts per million or milligrams per cubic meter. When you have all of those set up the way you'd like them, go ahead and press the escape button again. And we'll go and make sure that the particulate sensor is enabled. So you can go into the particulate menu and press the enter button and then using the arrow buttons to either enable or disable the sensor. Then press the escape button again to back out of the setup menu on that. Then we'll go and make sure the PID sensor is also enabled. You can adjust the calibration or the correction factor on the PID if you're sampling something different from isobutylene. Um, and that's pretty much it as far as setup goes. All right, so after we make sure the monitor is set up the way we'd like it to be, we can go back to the main menu just by pressing the escape button until it doesn't let you go back any farther. And then to navigate the readings that it's able to display, you'll press the left or the right arrow button from the start screen. And um, starting at the top, you'll see uh, the first screen, if you use the right arrow key, is going to be for your particulate level. And uh, that'll give you your real-time level, minimum, maximum, average. Um, and then if you press the button again, you'll get your temperature and humidity readings. Uh, the next screen over is going to be your gas readings and followed by a composite screen which is sort of a summary of uh, a little bit of everything. So then if you hit it again you'll end up back on the start screen. So when you're ready to you can go ahead and press the run stop button in the bottom left corner. If you have the particulate sensor enabled you'll hear the pump come on immediately. If for some reason you didn't you can make sure to just press the pump button to either enable or disable the particulate pump. So again, once you have it running, you can navigate through, to the, through each display and see your readings in real time. And once you're done, you can go ahead and press the stop button. Any readings that you chose to log will be saved to the instrument's memory and you'll be ready to download your data. Thank you for joining us today to learn about the EVM7 and how it works. If you have any other questions about the instrument or any others, feel free to give us a call.